Hey, I, I want to tell you a video, uh, something. I want to just be really straightforward with my introduction. I just received um, a notification on my account that I have um, I have money being deposited in my account tonight at 12 o'clock. And this money should have been in my account a week, a little over a week ago. But I left this job on really bad terms. And, you know, this is just the result of everything. But in this video, I wanted to explain to you why you as a black man, woman, teenager should be very cautious when working for non-white people. Now, I got my money, so I'm not worried about it anymore. I learned my lesson from this. And my lesson is a few things. Stay where I'm at right now. No more traveling. Finish my education. Save my money. And respect the people that gave birth to me. Because you got no friends, you have no allies, you have no support from anybody. And especially non-white people. As much as I'm critical on, you know, our so-called allies of the black community, I don't think there are any allies. Non-white people, for the most part, don't have a lot of that white guilt and they don't they don't have um any kind of support for reparations of any kind for slavery you know um if anything because when i look at these whenever i'm like in the comment section on like a video I, I may look at a video of like something that happened in philly like a like a crime I'm always looking at the comment section and I'm always seeing like the people whose names, you know, commenting. It's not always a white person. Sometimes it's an Hispanic by the last name, Asian. You know, they say little, you know, comments. I'm not disagreeing with them, but they say a lot of shit that, that a white person will call be called racist for. And it's it's really dangerous working for somebody like that. That's secretly. I'm not saying they hate me, but they hate the culture. And I, I'm not saying they're wrong, but why would I want to work for somebody that fucking hates my guts? This is why I, I, I'm really, I'm really just going to stay where I'm at right now. I'm no more traveling. Stay where I'm at. Get familiar with the area and just take it from there. I work for a Korean guy. Because I almost got arrested in Florida and I came down here because I felt like Georgia is one state where the odds against me are not like, you know, it like 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 there are no odds against me like it was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because Wisconsin is to me, it's a pretty white Hispanic, you know, state to be in. It's not like. It's not like um, the South, you know, or like, cause I'm I, like, I'm from Philly, and I think that, see, I, I come from a, a very black city, whatever you want to call, and I mean black city as in we have diversity, but we outnumber everybody, demographic wise. So, cause like Detroit is filled with blacks, but there is not a lot of diversity as in you don't have Italians and Irish people and and Puerto Ricans and Arabs, Muslims and Asians. You don't have a lot of that in Detroit like you will in Philly. So I'm not really used to dealing with that. But let me tell you, I work for a Korean guy and I regretted it because when payday came, I didn't see no money in my account. I didn't get paid until now. I just got my pending notification on my phone telling me I have a, a balance that is pending in my account and it's going to be cleared tonight at 12. And let me tell you how that happened. 
I quit that job that I described to you, how I didn't get along with most of my people at the job. In the New York versus black dude, the black guy versus white guy, New York City subway fight, that that one I'm describing to you, that's the job I worked. And sorry. I um I found another job. And the thing was, I was gonna just work that job that I quit for two days because he wasn't giving me my pay stubs. And I had a problem with the fact that I can't count how much hours I'm working. Like you can't, I can't look at the amount of hours on the pay stub. So I knew he was doing some really shady shit, but I understand where I'm coming from. I just left Florida after almost getting arrested. No one's going to hire me in the state that I don't live in. I don't know nobody. I don't have no family, no references. So I took what was given to me out of desperation. And what it taught me was do not keep, traveling stay where the hell you are get your education and take it from there but you know i made a mistake and i learned from it but he did not give me my pay stub and that was why i wanted to just you know i wanted to keep both jobs so i had an idea how many hours i'm working and how much taxes do i get taken out of my check i would know but but even without a pay stub, but you know, they weren't going to fire me, but they were mad on the last day that I came two hours late. Cause they kept altering the fucking schedule. And I didn't see, I forgot that I had to work at nine instead of 11. I came late. I didn't like the energy of like the job and he had a nerve to get mad at me. So I said, you know what? I don't need this. I quit. I told him to his face. I said, Hey, I'm done. And he was like, what? I said, I quit. And he said, whatever. And, you know, they didn't have that power over me after that. But let me tell you, I'm glad that I left because it exposed the shady shit he was doing. But also, I told you, I didn't get paid. He thought I I was going to just walk away without saying anything. No, fuck that. The two hours, the two days I worked and the two hours that I worked on that last day, I want money for that. So you know what I did? I didn't go about it the stereotypical Negro way of doing it. I didn't go up there and threaten his ass. I didn't I didn't get in his face because you know what he would have did? He would have called the cops on me. Then I would have went to jail for trespassing. So I went about it the right way. I called the Georgia Department of Labor wage. I told them the hours I worked and I, what I wasn't paid for. They complied with everything and they gave me my money. That's the right way to do things. You don't have to go up there and threaten nobody. I mean, I'd rather, let me say this. I'd rather black people start doing that to other people instead of doing that to each other. But that, that's not going to happen. But I got my money. I went about it the right way. I wasn't trespassing. I didn't I didn't interact with them or anything. And I feel a lot better because it shows the, even though my money was late, as a man, you don't not pay anybody when they work for you. This is why now I'm a little, I have a little bit of hatred for Donald Trump and Kanye West because when I hear people working for these motherfuckers and they're not, they're not paying them, I, I know what that feels like because I have a problem with that. You know, I, I do. But I want to tell you, be very careful working for the Asian, the Hispanic, because they don't hire us, but they don't have white guilt. They're not so easily intimidated by these useless as black organizations like like um, BLM, the Urban League, NAACP. They do nothing, but they're not scared. They're not intimidated by them. So be very cautious working for them because... It's things that they could do. White people get crucified for. So just be careful. But I learned my lesson. And I don't feel no kind of way about it. Because here's the thing. I don't. I don't. I can say this confidently. I don't do. To my knowledge. Any kind of business. With Asian people. I mean. I don't. I don't eat Chinese food. I don't. I don't have the access. To doing business with them. You know, everything I need 
is in stores that I could potentially work for. But unfortunately, and it's embarrassing, people in the black community buy and support these Chinese stores and they do nothing at all. And it's it's really sad. But I guess you are used to doing what you see other people doing. But be very cautious of working for them because three reasons. They don't have white guilt. They don't are not easily intimidated by being called racist or having, you know, NAACP Urban League called on their ass. I mean, maybe the Department of Labor wage is dependent on the state they're in, but they're not so intimidated. So just be careful if you have to work for them. But I suggest that you don't because as much as they hate, uh, not saying all, but as much as North Korea wants to take over America, and I feel like they are one day, they have no sympathy for black people at all. I mean, I mean I'm going to leave a description. I'm going to leave a link in the description box of the shit that they do in China to African workers and, and um, people like staying in China. They, they get treated horrible. I saw um, a video, a post where they were kicking people out of their homes and making them sleep on the street. It was like, it, it's so much shit they do that in this country will be considered racist, but they don't give in to that there. They don't. But just be very cautious if you have to work for anybody that's non-white.